Hello nature boys and girls, this is Lady Flora and it is hideous yellow grasshopper season and I have an interesting story to tell you about a hideous yellow grasshopper. First let me show you what the skies look like. Sunshine and rainbows over here dark, ominous thunderheads over here. So here's my grasshopper story. I was doing some stuff in the garden. I was like wrapping up the hose, putting some stuff away. And you know how sometimes you get that feeling where you just turn around real quick and you're not really sure why and then you realize later it was because you thought something was looking at you or you felt someone was looking at you. So I turned around really quick and there was a yellow grasshopper, pretty big in my opinion, long body and then of course the horrible legs jutting out. Yellow, black grasshopper with that grasshopper face, you know. Now, I had an experience when I was younger where we had a lot of grasshoppers in the yard um, when I was living with my mom and I was little and we were trying to get rid of them. And so she said, basically, if you see one of these grasshoppers, just smash it because we don't want them around. They're eating all of our plants. So I was little and I, this was when I was little, I saw a grasshopper and like my mom had said, I tried to smash it and it would not die. It was a horrible experience for me as a child. You know, every child has that like experience where they learn about life and death and, and they see in nature how harsh the world can be. Anyways, that was my traumatic life and death experience as a child, learning about it. And so I did not want to repeat that experience and plus the grasshopper was on the air handler unit, so I couldn't exactly stomp on it. And I didn't want to spray it with this bug spray and have like a cloud of poison floating around. We try not to use any bug spray in our yard anyways. We're trying to do everything organic. We don't have the house sprayed for bugs or anything. So there was only one option. I grabbed a plastic bag And I put it around my hand like this. Actually, I got three of these, um, three plastic bags. And uh, I also have a little bit of respect for grasshoppers, um, not just because of their size, because they are quite uh, formidable, but also because they're an incredible food source. Um, not that I would ever eat one <laughs> unless I had to, of course. But, um, but I have heard that um, if people would start these grasshopper farms and if um, people would just start adding insects to their diet that we could kind of basically end world hunger because they're an amazing source of protein and everything like I said so um, yeah so anyways um, so I put the plastic bags on my hands and I decided all I had to do was just pick this thing up right and throw it away So, <laughs> so I have the plastic bags in my hands and I looked at it and I said, okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna grab it. Okay, now, now I'm just gonna grab it. I'm just gonna go in there and I'm just gonna grab it. Nope. Okay, now I'm gonna grab it. I'm just gonna, whew, okay. This is a lot harder than I thought, but I was sticking to my guns not going to spray it with toxic bug spray, not going to stomp on it, I'm going to grab it. So it took me about 10 minutes of just breathing deeply and then I realized I am prolonging this unnecessarily. I need to get this over with. It is getting scarier and scarier the more I think about it, the more I look at it, I need to just do this thing. 
So I took a deep breath, partly closed my eyes, and grabbed it. And I grabbed a giant grasshopper with my hand. And I think I squealed a little bit or screamed, I'm not sure, and ran to the trash can and I felt it kick my hand through the plastic bags. And wow, they have a kick. They really do have a kick. I don't know if I'm ever gonna forget that feeling of a grasshopper kicking my hand through the plastic bag. But I did it. I put it in the trash and I closed the lid. And I don't know if I'm ever gonna do that again. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what I'll do next time. Maybe I will be brave and grab it. Maybe I'll do another method. Anyways, if you have any good methods on dealing with grasshoppers, I would love to know. Of course, I'm not interested in using pesticides. Um, but yeah, if you have any advice for how to deal with giant yellow grasshoppers, please let me know. Um, because I could really use some advice in that department. <laughs> so I believe that grasshoppers and all, connecting with nature can have a positive impact on your life. And I make several vlogs a week, nature diaries I call them, where I go outside and I connect with nature and I encourage you to do the same. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. And you can do that by clicking on the cameo down below. So I will see you soon, but only if you subscribe. Until then, go outside and have a sublime day.